Gee, I don't know, your store bought clothes? <laughs> yes, I'm ready to get out of here. President? Mr. President? Just Tommy Thompson, who is the new president of Telephone Pioneer. How do you do? Great pleasure to be here with you. Well, pleased to have you. And Frank Skinner, who's the past president of Calumet. Nice yeah. to be back with you. Yeah. Well, good to see you. And Mickey McGuire, who we met with you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Well, you're nice to let us come visit with you. We appreciate the invitation back to the White House, and especially this week. I know this is a time of family loss, yes. and uh, we particularly appreciate you letting us come. Well, and I hope you'll pass nice on to, see you. to Mrs. Reagan. That'll, that'll be of sympathy. Well, and, I will be joining her, her tomorrow in Phoenix. The last time I was here was uh, about a year ago, Mr. President, and I was here to present to you a telephone which commemorated the 75th anniversary of the Telephone Pioneers of yes. America. And you were kind enough to give us a videotape to use at our General Assembly out in Minneapolis. That General Assembly focused on the 75th anniversary. And your videotape message was an absolute highlight of that meeting. Well, I'm pleased to hear that. It was a highlight not just for the 1,400 people, pioneers who were in that assembly, but for more than 200,000 pioneers that had seen that tape all over the United States and Canada at local meetings. And again, it's been a big hit, and we're very grateful to you for doing that. You'll recall perhaps also that in that tape, you and Mrs. Reagan issued a challenge to the pioneers to join the fight yes. uh, against drug yeah, abuse. I know that you've done that. And we have indeed, and I think you'd be proud of the way in which pioneers all across this continent have joined in that fight. I wish there were time to tell you in great detail about what's been done. But let me just mention two or three examples. For example, in the state of Oregon and the state of Washington, pioneers there have joined with Debbie Armstrong, who was a 1984 Olympic ski champion, in taking the message of just say no to the school children throughout those states. Well, another great. example in another part of the nation uh, would be an attempt to take the message to the general public in the states of Florida and in Arizona. Up in Vermont and New Hampshire, uh, the thrust has been toward educating entire families on the dangers uh, of drugs. And I think especially significant is the fact that uh, our pioneers in Canada have joined in that fight also. Oh, that's great. And every single chapter in Canada has joined in a fundraising effort to refurbish drug rehabilitation centers so that uh, they too are, are part of that response. And so, Mr. President, I think it uh, says pretty clearly that your message planted a seed that's still growing and is going to continue to grow for some time. And I think it's a great example of how people all across this nation have responded to your private sector initiative. And I can promise you the telephone pioneers are going to keep on with that effort, not just in the drug abuse area, but in other things as well. When I was here before, I told you that the pioneers had raised $4.2 million for the Statue of Liberty Rehabilitation. And that's just another example. I wrote a letter some time back uh, telling you that we would like for you to be an honorary member of the association. Since that time, my term of office has expired. I'm not eligible for re-election. You know how that works. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm turning it over. I have turned uh, over the reins to my successor, Tom Thompson. And Tom is not only now president of the Telephone Pioneers of America, but he is also uh, president of AT&T Technology Systems. Well, and I know that Tom joins me in saying that the telephone pioneers are going to continue to fight the fight uh, against drugs and to continue to be an important part of all the things uh, that they've been known for in the way of uh, meeting human need in the local communities. And uh, I think Tom would echo that same more importantly than echoing it, I can tell you that uh, in the year ending 86, we had 37 active programs that were drug related. The year just ending, that's up to 108. That's almost a threefold increase. Well. But your tape made a more important statement. Uh, our pioneers uh, had 20 million hours of volunteer service to the community last year. And your statement on volunteerism is at the foundation of pioneering. 
And that earns you the right to be an honorary member. Well, on an association-wide basis, there's only been 10 in 76 years of history. The first was Alexander Graham Bell in 1912. And we have Watson in there. We have Mabel Hubbard Bell. The last one was in 1925. There's never been a United States president that is an honorary pioneer, so uh, you're breaking some new ground. Well, I'm very proud. And we have uh, an official uh, commemoration of that, which is a statement that says that uh, President Ronald W. Reagan is a uh, honorary pioneer. And uh, more powerful than this is the fact that as a pioneer, you, get, you earn the right to do two things. One is to uh, wear a pin that is the uh, symbolic pin of uh, officership. If you notice, both Frank and myself have one. Well, yes, I, well, thank you very much. And even more powerful within the pioneer circles is the right to wear a windbreaker with the pioneer triangle on it and your name. And that says that you're really uh, a pioneer of, of America. And uh, we have uh, one for you with your name on it. And then one in the box for Mrs. Reagan as well, with her name on it. My goodness. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm very proud to have these and to have to be a member. Well, you're Thank number you. 11 on the association-wide uh, <laughs> membership. And uh, maybe it won't be another uh, uh, 50 years before we have another honorary member. But Mr. President, you're number one in our hearts. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much. Thank you. Our pleasure to have you. I have just some little souvenirs here for you. Key rings. See Standing. See oh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, sir. We pleasure. really appreciate that. That's very thoughtful well, of you. We used to do it, and I'm greatly honored. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you for the time and your support. We're deeply grateful, Mr. President. Well, thank you for all that you're doing. Thanks for all you mean to all of us. I'm just tagging along. <laughs> I hardly know him without a chainsaw on his hands. Our last time we were here, he had his finger on the finger off. Yes. Uh, yeah. 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 We're stopping near it, right? <laughs> All right. Thank Goodbye, Dom. Yeah. Yes. Hello there. How do you do? See you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hello. I'm Bill Lehman from the American Motorcycle Association. Pleasure to meet you. Hey there, Robert Prancer, from the American Motorcycle Association. Hi, Jeff Ward. Hey, Mrs. Team. Good to see you. Thank you. Rick Johnson, 250 next to Jeff. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Tom Morgan. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. So I have a, a jacket for you that was made up for our team that represented us at the race this year in the Dillon, New York. Well, thank you very much, Team USA. You've got to recognize that that's kind of a switch for an old horse cavalry. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. I thank you very much. 
Thank you again. Thank you. This was uh, a memory for the first time in this country. Yes. Yeah. It's had 50 nations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you've won it seven years. Uh, seven years. As a matter of fact, uh, we all started in 81, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you, you'll you still see. be performing after I'm done. But I have some souvenirs here for all of you there. Oh, wow. Key rings. The Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now hold them all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, well, I'm pleased to have you all in here today, and I thank you very much. Thank you very much. A pleasure. Thank you. you, sir. It's a privilege to be here. What? It's a privilege to be here. Well, it's, I'm very proud to have you here. Yeah. <coughs> Knowing where that, where that trophy belongs now. <laughs> yeah. We intend on keeping it for a while. Now, where will it be the next time? France. 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 Where? France. 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 You have to do a lot, a lot of traveling there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very much. Well, thank you all for coming in. Thank you, thank thank you. you very much. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Now we're going to I said that Gorbachev's going to screw me out of the Thanksgiving trip. <laughs> Mr. President, Mr. President, this is Newton Mayo. Hello there. And this is his son, Dr. John Mayo. How do you do? Nice to see you. You have worked a while. Well, and well, you recognize that? Yes, here. <laughs> well, let's give them a picture with. Sir, why don't you? Uh, yeah, yeah, on the other side. Yeah, and then squeeze it a little bit better. That's great. Sir, can you look right here? Thank you. I assure you, this hangs in my study upstairs. We just brought it down here for this picture. And uh, it's no strings. That's the horse that Nancy, but now she can only ride him occasionally. He's getting a little bit of This is the one I ride. Well, there's the house. Now I'm here. I worked through the house, though, there, through a magnifying glass. The picture of the house was so small. <laughs> we couldn't, so we sort of had living. I didn't know what the kids well, this is, came out. Well, tell me, uh, they couldn't tell me. Did they, they gave you photographs. Yeah. But did they give you photographs, as I thought, understood, separately of the horses, oh, yeah, and then yeah. one just the for the view, and then you had to... Well, wait, one of the photographs had both of them in it, didn't it? Like no. Oh, there were two. That's right. There were two separate ones. Right? They, we had three photographs. One was of the uh, background, and then we had this horse by himself and this one by itself. Mm -hmm. And I had the one in the back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, but it, though, uh, if I had more time, I, I, I think we could have done a little better job. But it worked out. I don't know whether anyone ever told you, but all these fences down here are made out of telephone poles. Is that right? And uh, me and two other fellows out there, we did it. <laughs> we built that fence. Well, that's... Hand digging the post holes and... I know. What a job you had. This is uh, up here. I've never owned anything in here before that was ever on the map. Yeah. But uh, this is, this is Mount Baldwin. appears on the map as part of the Just around there, and where you see that part of the hill behind this, is, a, well, is a, an Omni station for the uh, airlines. But I just love this, and it keeps me homesick. <laughs> I, I, I was out to uh, see Dennis Ayers yesterday, checking on Gimish, and I understand that he's just, you retired him altogether. That's what I understand that yes, it is, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was a heartbreak to me because well, he was... Yeah, I know. I'm the one that worked on him. Huh? I'm the one that worked on him originally. Oh? I'm the one that, that the veterinarian that they yeah. brought him to. And mm -hmm. 
I also, when you were at Middleburg before the your yeah. election, I did when Margie Love was taking care of your yeah. horse. I'm the one that took care of the well. women. <laughs> 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 looked after him. <laughs> and just a couple of souvenirs, souvenirs of your visit here. We thought uh, a couple of Western buckles. Oh, well, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, we appreciate just, you taking the time to see us. Well, listen, I appreciate this. This stands there. This hangs in, right in front of my desk at the study there, so that every day you can, I can look up and get make home sure sick. <laughs> yes. Thank you. We're, we're glad you like it. Well, we really do. Give our best to Mrs. Reagan. I sure will. We're yes. sorry. We're very sorry, sorry about it. Yeah. The Lord was very kind, however. She was. Thank you, sir. Good to see you. She no longer nice knew us. And right. I just quietly went to sleep. That's the way. That was the way. Thank you very much. All right.